Hello, caller. We got you live on the air. Hi, uh, this is Shirley Phelps Roper. All right, Shirley. Thank you. We're just checking on our line here. We weren't for sure if we had you or not. I'd like to uh, welcome you to the program. We have you live on the air. Yes, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> kind of being off the hour. Well, that's we okay. Some, that, some track issues. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, better late than never. Yes. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. Um, Shirley, I have a lot of questions for you. We're going to kind of okay. make up a little bit of time here and kind of just cut to the quick. You know, your your church, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church, is uh, centered out of uh, Topeka, Kansas. You have a membership of around um, 70 to 100 people. Uh, you guys do uh, protests kind of around the nation. I, I went to your website. You have several different websites, but one... Uh, there's a, um, a lecture given by your by Fred Phelps who says that you guys have done somewhere between 30,000 or, or so um, different protests over the years. Is is that accurate so far? Well, 34, 34 plus thousand now, and uh, close to, closer, the accurate number would be closer to almost straight up 70 souls that pertain to this church, which are not all members, that's including right down to the babies. And the rest of that sounded pretty good. Okay. How, how many members How many members did you say? I don't, I don't know what the exact number of members are. I just know that the people who regularly attend this church, the souls that pertain to this church, are 70. But okay. not all of them are members because, you know, like there's some babies. You can't be a member as a baby. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I have, I have several questions, things that, that I've had for a long time that I want to try to uh, fill in the gaps with and maybe you can help me fill in the gaps on those um your guy the the fundamental foundations seen of your church the 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 philosophy that you guys talk about is that god is punishing the nation due to its adherence to the homosexual lifestyle could you kind of fill me in on that yeah you understand when you say the homosexual lifestyle you're including all lesser included offenses. That's just a the bottom rung on the depravity chain. So what we're talking about is idols, um, false gods. You've littered your landscape with lying false prophets. And from there, you go to your filthy manner of life, which is, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ telling you that if you divorce and remarry, you're living in adultery. You, if you're not fornicating by about 14, you're just a freak in this country. And, uh, and from there, you understand, a little this and a little that, and pretty soon you've lost all moral ground. So what are you going to tell the facts? That it's okay to be gay? Yeah, that's what you do. That's what, that's what this country has done. They've risen up like one man, like one voice, to say it's okay to be gay. And that, of course, is contrary to the standards of God. It, it seems interesting. It seems interesting, uh, and I'm glad for the clarification because it seems interesting that you guys, uh, you know, if you're talking about gay lifestyle is every sin, and that's just one on the rung. It's a little bit different situation than saying this is the master sin we look at because when you look at your signage, when you look at uh, the sound bites and the things that were often talked about, we have this "God hates America," "God hates fags." And this fag word that you throw out all the time, and it makes me wonder because, you know, homosexuals in this country compared to, like, oh, wife beaters or drug users, you know, they're a, they're a small percentage of the populace. It seemed, it well, seemed, uh, do you see the, the wife beaters having the political clout that the homosexuals have? Do you see any wife beaters pride parade? We're talking to you about what you're talking about. We're talking to you about, you know, you turn on your TV, you pick up a newspaper uh, almost daily. It's gay marriage this, gay rights that, blah, blah, blah. It's all gay all the time. It seems to me. And if you me, dare it's, speak it seems, a word about what the scripture says about homosexuals, sodomites, uh, you're going to be uh, asking for the end of your career, if you're a really good basketball player, nationally acclaimed basketball player, and dare to do that, you may not get to play in the All-Star game. And I could go on and on. I'm not sure what you're talking about on that. But you, and you know that there are no wife beaters that are going to be able to, 
to uh, well have I, that extra special. I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to offer you a, a really unique opportunity Shirley Phelps Roper. And this is uh, I think exclusive to the Conscience of Kansas radio program. And it's a, it's a one-time offer and uh, so I won't uh, give it out again. But uh, you know, it'd be something that would probably behoove you to to look into. I'm going to give you the opportunity to apologize to all the men and women that serve in the military. To all of the men and women who have ever served in the military, to the families of everyone who served in the military, to the members of Kansas who have been touched and tainted by the Westboro Baptist Church, every one of them that has ever had to shake their head and say, why the hell in our state? To every Christian that's had to fight the tenets of liberalism and atheism who have had the Westboro Baptist Church thrown in their face, to every American that's been touched and tainted by the Westboro Baptist Church, I give you the opportunity here and now on the Conscience of Kansas radio program to apologize in what I hope will be a series of apologies. And if you do not accept that, please explain why. Okay. 